So I want to play the whole thing. It, yeah. it would take too long. But just the whole point of our dissertation tonight, which is, of course, what is the defense going to be? Well, I believe he's going to call he's going to call John Ray as well as potentially former police commissioner Rodney Harrison in as witnesses. It at least muddies the water and creates some kind of doubt. But again, is any of this stuff enough to combat, you know, two tractor trailers full of evidence that they have against Rex Hume? And, and I'm exaggerating, but a voluminous amount of evidence against Rex Hume. Is that, is this and is uh, the the other stuff enough doubt to to prevent Rex Hume from get, getting convicted in this case? Billy, it may in a, in a, by, by, in a stretch, it may, because remember, Michael Brown has to convince only one person that there is some reasonable doubt, and that's a very low standard. And so therefore, um, by calling, you know, this gentleman um, with the, with the, uh, uh, with the hat and the tie and um, Johnny Ray, um, that because Johnny Ray said he spoke to these people, two out of the four, uh, offered affidavits, sworn affidavits. The other two didn't. So Johnny Ray spoke directly to them. He could convey what they said if they can't be found. If they can be found, they will have to be dragged into court. But who knows if they can even be found. And if they say they are found and they're dragged into court, but what they don't remember, what he said they said, what he's telling the people that they remember, it, it, it hurts his credibility. I, I could see Michael Brown playing real hardball and saying, we're going to get Johnny Ray up here and we're going to get Chief uh, Harrison because Harrison, as Johnny Ray said, Harrison and he are working together on this case and they're exchanging evidence. And so therefore, when you use that word evidence, obviously they're not exchanging um, you know, um, bread recipes, they're exchanging evidence and evidence in this case. Yeah, Michael Brown could muddy up the waters. He's there's trouble with some of the DNA evidence, obviously, and the um, and the cell phone pinging location, the box as they call it, the box around um, Penn Station and the box around Massapequa and that area. Okay, fine, that's one thing. But also, um, when you look at this, this is very very different than that sort of stuff. This is people's memories. This is pe what people said to someone else, and they're repeating it. Um, it's hearsay. Um, Michael Brown can have a field day with uh, Chief Harrison and um, Johnny Ray. I, I think he could really m uh, make, try to make a real, you know, jumbled mess out of everything that. Uh, how, about, how, about him calling, how about him calling uh, Chief James Burke as a witness? Right, right. Really um, get James Burke up there and just grill the daylights out of him. He's got that right to do it because he can subpoena James Burke and James Burke is going to have to come in and testify and come up with some sort of ridiculous reason, whatever it is, why more resources weren't spent, why when they found this avalanche and whatever, all this other information, he could just roast him. And when you roast a, per a person like that, um, you know, it could really throw a, a, um, a monkey wrench into the prosecutor's uh, case. So um, you got, he's going to have enough evidence to work with to really um to really uh to really mess up the prosecution case this is not a slam dunk case for the prosecution in any way shape or form michael brown is good he knows what he's doing and there is enough evidence out there enough i should say um information out there especially involving burke to really muddy up the waters and so uh, i would not be surprised if if um if Herman, if he is convicted, that he may not be convicted of all four. And I would not be surprised if there was a hung jury. Wow. Yeah. I'm I a mean, cynic. <laughs> I'm a cop. I, I'm a I always, every time we look at this case, I always refer to this 32 page yeah. uh, bail application. And I'm inviting everyone that all watches right. the show has followed this case to pull that up. You could still get it, it's still available. Yeah. Just put, Rex Human bail application, and then you print it and you'll always have it. But it's the information that's in there is amazing. And the evidence that's in there is amazing. And when you realize that there's probably 
thousands and thousands more pages of the evidence that they have in this case, then you wonder what type of defense create doubt we talk about. Let's let's smear James Burke, Chief mm -hmm. James Burke. That is the that's the one thing that's everyone knows that's where they're going. And then the, you know, I played the uh Johnny Ray and what he presented. Mm -hmm. I don't believe any of that's believable, any of the stuff. And I'm not saying John Ray's not believable. The witnesses he brought forward to me are not believable. And so, but does that create doubt? Well, if Michael Brown, the attorney for Rex Schumann, can bring forth those witnesses and create doubt with them, go ahead. But the when you hear Michael uh, Brown say, Rex Schumann, did not commit this crime. And then when you see some of the evidence, his computer searches, the burner phones, the DNA, and you're just like, all right, stop, stop. All right. You know what I mean? Let's let's stop with that. No one's playing a violin and shedding tears for Rex Human right now. And of course, everyone that goes to jail or prison finds the Lord. You know, everyone finds the Lord because they they have so much, they have nothing but time on their hands. And uh, you know. They're going to find the Lord. And uh, Roseanne from the chat, can't Burke be held accountable for negligence on this case? Well, he already went to prison, Roseanne. So uh, I don't think they could sue him for malfeasance now. He's off the job. I think he even got his pension, uh, which is pretty amazing. I don't understand that. I guess you retire before you get convicted and you get your pension. But... Uh, and he was a four-star chief, so I'm sure he has a pretty sizable pension. One thing I didn't know, until I was reading the documents, you know, Burke was NYPD before he was Suffolk County. For a short period I, of time, yeah. Yeah, short period. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I saw that, oh, my God, he's Paisan. You know, he was former NYPD. You know, crazy. Aquarian 1, uh, was it his hair or his wife's hair?